the board. Yep. Okay. Well, there we have it. The draft's complete. We are going to see what Cool Beans can do here. Uh, of course, Cool Beans, they've been uh, a bit through the wars today already. They are the team to come out of that, what, 100 minute. Two of the rewards up here. Does indeed. All right. We have a game, boys. We do this. This could be, could be a good one. Cool Beans and Team Secret. Mid lane will be interesting to see how that goes down. As you said, mid one will feel very confident in that what? matchup. In fact, well, top lane. What? Kezu, Yapsor, and Puppy straight in. Catching out the Night Stalker. This aggressive try lane for the time being from Secret. Bottom lane, MP versus Nikra. 9 for 4 on MP. Nikra 5 for 7. Again, though, top lane. Yapsor and Puppy. They're making the plays here. This support duo support Zeus. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, but looking at the CS as well, the fact that MP 24 against the 12, that's uh, pretty impressive. It can certainly be very hard to, to get that CS in that solo condition yeah, let's with see the idle ons up. Though. His net worth is, okay, so not, a lot of it's actually not idle wow, Yeah, he's, he's getting destroyed. Yeah, MP's having a great time. He is, he's loving life on that bottom lane. He's not only getting the farm, he's getting the XP as well. In fact, mid lane, mid gate, straight up, bursted down by Yapsil. <laughs> Top lane, though. It's going to be Cool Beans getting themselves on the board. Come with me. Comes in. And they'll get the kill. Mid lane. Looking to get some hits in onto Mickey. Quick with the orb. Mickey's out of there. Mid lane now the reaction. Come with me. Comes in onto mid one. Trap Slow will be there to hold back the Night Stalker. Bottom lane though. The push comes through and again. Even with these. They don't have a... They're not using a smoke yet. They really want to use Black Hole. They really want to do something about this troll. Can they do it? There's the Malefist. They're thinking about it, but it is certainly looking to be quite an awkward attempt. As they head forward, they can't quite close the gap, and it's going to be Puppy coming in with the turnaround. Charges onto Nequa. Puppy drawing the aggro away from the rest of his team, as now the backup comes in from Secret. They'll drop the Dream Coil. MP does get taken down. It'll be Mikkei with the rotation onto rotation, punishing Secret. But Yapsor, he's already found Nico on the back lines of this all. He's got to try and get himself out of this, though. There's still three members of Cool Beans hunting him down, and they will claim him as well. So a fantastic rotation and reaction from Mikkei coming down to the bottom lane. Hangs around on that bottom lane a little too long. Tried to get a bit of solo XP, but MP runs in close of the gap. And talking about close of the gap, this man's got a lot of damage. Enigma down. Mid one comes in. Ancient stag, so many kills on the Zeus early on. He's almost level six already. Well, here we go. Yeah, mid one with that newly found blink jumps in, gets the Night Stalker, but there could be a reaction here as the side of Cool Beans close in. Dream Coil onto two. Loda jumps up to the other side, looking for uh, the Zeus, but Japs has already fallen here. So Loda not really in a position to do anything else here. I've MP with that ultimate up as well. So extra chance to get those bashes through. If they find a target, Loda is the one in the jungle at the moment. They can catch him off uh, kind of an awkward blink. Maybe they can go for him. Bottom lane, MP tries for the TP out, but come with me. We'll find him, and that's a big catch as well. The Veils drop, Midnight Pulse as well. MP surrounded, they'll bring him down. Big kill for Cool Beans. Just have to get out of there really quickly. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. A, that was some great positioning by a puppy coming in from the yeah. tree line. This is going disastrously for them. It's coming up to about a 5k lead already for the side of Team Secret. And now with the charges coming in onto the mid, the fights don't stop. There'll be a jump forward, but the bash of course still connects as they'll charge in. There is going to be the black hole, in fact, with the ult, but it's, is it going to be enough to bring them down? Yes, they'll get mid one. The dream core now to two more will wear off. Kezu's able to run himself away. Puppy goes for the charge, trying to charge his way to freedom. The mana burns there to stop it, though. Comes in, holds him back, brings him down. Puppy to fall as well. With this observable, new, freshly placed observable. Uh-oh. Yep, I'm talking about wards. They've got the vision there for the charge to come through. Puppy straight on to come with a mean nether strike to knock him back. Looking to try and get the ancient creeps to help out, but the shrine heal isn't enough to save him. It's not. Mid one comes in with a physical DPS, takes down the Night Stalker. He melt struck the ancient creep. That's what happens when you attack. Move the melt strike. As uh, the desolator is now done for mid one as well. So. A couple of bashes and a couple of melt deso hits, and Loda can still certainly be in trouble. Talking about. Not just Loda, Mickey as well. Found out, has to be so careful with the orb usage. If they have the vision of him and mid one can close that gap, 
So I think Seeker's still overresting pretty comfortably. There's a few mistakes that they can afford before they actually have to feel like they don't have control of the game anymore. That bitch is going in. They get the vision onto Niqua, and Niqua is gone. 40 seconds. No Enigma to help push the lanes out or contribute to the team fights. Late game beast that no one can mess with. I will say they do probably need to take a rack by 35 is the timing that I would say. Go up top. Looking to make a go onto the anti-mage, but the backup's there. Niqua doesn't waste a moment. Straight up with the black hole, holding back the Spirit Breaker. They're looking for more here with the Dream Goal, controlling Kezu. Mana burn to fly through as well. It's enough damage. He's down. Secret, they're going to try and turn, though. They may have lost two, but already they find two kills themselves. Midpoint and MP ready to go to work. They've got the Bashes on to come with him. He's still able to fly himself across the tree line, but the Vision's there from the bolt. The so drops it down. Cool Beans will lose three. When they would get, start to have a little bit of worry. Here we go. Charge. To connect onto the Night Stalker. We'll have the CM falling first. The drag back with the vacuum. Looking for the vision not to come with me. They'll get the slow with the axes. Uh oh, daytime. And it is daytime. Come with me. Gets a rude awakening. As mid one picks up the double kill. Second down. Loader. Trying his best down bottom. Looking for the chance to cut waves, keep that push going. Puppy will now charge out though, so Loader will th feel a little safe. Slowly blinking his way up the tree line, but again, it's a lot of precious time where Loader is not hitting creeps when he is so dearly the hero that Cool Beans need to, to carry them through this game. Top lane, Niqua. It's been spotted out by Kezu. And Mirbois Mech will not be enough to save him as Niqua will be dropped. And now, Secret. Spirit, but first he needs his core items. I mean, especially as well when they can't get the vision up across the map. That, that, having that Zeus Spirit yeah. Breaker combo is so nice because the Zeus just secures that there's no chance that the enemy has any vision to spot these Spirit Breaker movements. Oh, you showed up on the map? Now you're going to die. Unless you TP in time. Ooh. And he is just TP'd in time. Eventually Game sense is there. The thing about it is they can get the Nimbus Cloud. So now that you have the charge, every time you see oh, him TP, he's you just dead. Nimbus Cloud him. Yeah. Well, once he gets a Nimbus Cloud, yes. I mean, yeah, he's, I guess at least de he's dead or at least trapped in the tree line without well, a TP. Yeah. yeah. Th that time they brought the TA. So yeah. it would be very difficult. He has the... Uh, has oh, yeah. Cheese. Uh, cheese ain't going to be enough for this man. As he is taken down. Caught AFK by the Shrine. Them as well. I haven't even really seen a too timely a battle for this game yet. There we go. MP tries to close in, looking for the bash on Nico will get the slow with the axes. Trap as well is there from mid one. Jumped down the wall. Nico being focused, the vision's there with the Thunder God's Wrath. And no high ground's gonna save him. And talk, talk, talking about high ground, Nether Strike straight up from Puppy. Finds come with me. BKB popped it by MP. He tries to go for the bash, but oh! The Black Hole cancel immediately there by the Thunderbolt from Yapsor. Cool Beans, they've lost two. Make that three. A secret closing in on them, forcing them back to the fountain. And opening up the space to finally take this middle rax away from Cool Beans. As Loader's forced to, to blink back to the fountain, not much that him and Mikke can do to stop this, this onslaught. And Mikke tries he must as he heads forward, orbs himself back. He's stuck in the trees though, they've got the vision. Loader tries to head forward, but a quick mail strike makes him nope the hell out of there. He backs away, Mibon with a jump in onto the puck. Instant blink though, no way of stopping that in time. But Secret, they don't care that they don't get those two kills. They've opened up the chance to clean out a second set of racks from Cool Beans. There's no black hole, they do have the mana burn, bringing Yapsor down low, uses himself up, in fact he's gonna survive, he's surged out by Kezu. They can't even kill the support Zeus, and Loader has to blink back into the fountain again, trying to hold himself away from this onslaught coming from Secret, as they've lost two, Mickey buys back, Puppy will be taken down. And now, maybe Cool Beans getting the kills they need in return, Loader will get the double, now looking towards Kezu, surges himself out here, they'd love to get the money, they'd love to get that dollar, they surround the Darkseer, they're gonna get him as well, they'll take a third. Woo. So they do get the kills, they hold themselves in the game, they still have that bottom set of racks, but still very overall painful losses here for Cool Beans in terms of the base. DD but didn't have vision on it. Okay. Where's Enigma? He's got to do something big, he doesn't have that blink, he can only walk in the BKB and found Oh no, the Maelstrom, Nikwa, he's going to die, he falls low, but oh no, he gets the black hole! The BKB, the black hole, he gets three, do they have the damage though? With the offensive, no, it's not enough! 
It was an admirable try, but it's not good enough for Cool Beans. Loda gets caught out as well. He can't get out of this one. Four, five dead on the side. It was a flashy black hole, that but that was about hole. it. It was a good black hole, but it was not good enough to rectify the state of this game. Secret will close it up, take the victory. As a tough game indeed for Cool Beans. Never quite got the chance for the AM to get together and just a really, really nice little draft there from Secret. Showing us the Yaps or Zeus definitely had a huge amounts of impact.